evening. If you guys watched my stream, you guys saw me stain all of these crates yesterday, put the little lights in. I ended up having to hot glue the lights in because command strips wouldn't hold it. I don't really know why. I'm thinking maybe probably the paint wasn't dry all the way when I was trying to like stick them up, but I ended up using hot glue to glue the lights in. In this video, we're going to be turning ourselves into an evil elf. Now, normally for Christmas characters, I do more of like sweet, jolly, Christmassy type characters because I don't, I don't want to scare the children around Christmas time. I don't want to give your children nightmares for Christmas, I want to give your kids nightmares before Christmas. But with that being said, every single year, everyone always asks for an evil Christmas or scary characters or characters of that sort. So this year, I'm giving it to you. I also want to say a quick thank you to everybody that purchased stuff from my site for Black Friday. I really, really appreciate it. You have no idea how much your support means to me and my small business. I will link both of my businesses in the description below in case you still want to check things out. Some things are still on sale and we're running a holiday sale as well on Slightly Strange. If you enjoyed this video or my brand new room, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm first going to cover my eyebrows using a washable glue stick and a makeup spatula. This does not have to be clean. It doesn't have to be smooth. I just want to make sure my eyebrows are completely covered before I put the prosthetic over them mainly because I'm paranoid. We're basically putting this glue on like it's grape jelly. If you like grape jelly. Like it's grape jelly on Cracker Barrel biscuits. Lovely. We're now going to reverse Botox using some Tinsley transfers. Tinsley transfers I've been using for a very long time. I really, really like them. I've never used a brow piece from them, but we're going to now, so. Now that we have our prosthetic piece on, I'm then going to use makeup sponges and an alcohol-based palette, and I'm going to stipple on a very pale light color. I'm also gonna be ripping small holes out of the sponge, that way it creates more of a stipple as opposed to just like a square all over my face. I also added a little bit of pale foundation right around my eyes to kind of bring those bones out. I'm then gonna use the exact same process and go ahead and stipple in a little bit more of a coral type tone. Using a mix of a more dead gray alcohol based color and also a vein color, I'm then going to stipple that in as well. I'm then going to jump around a little bit and add some primer to my eyelids as well as darken up around my eyes using eyeshadow. I'll probably also use gray and black eyeshadow to darken up around my cheeks and in my temples as well. Look at this, we got nice angular smoky eye. Instagram. I'm then going to continue to darken up these sections using eyeshadow with switching between stippling the alcohol paint and the eyeshadow. Using vein tone, I'm then going to add some pretty gnarly looking veins. using a little bit of black water-based body paint and then going to darken up around my eyes a little bit before leaving this and moving on to the clothes. Oh, I'm not even giving instructions. I'm just, I'm just like applying things to my face. That's okay. You can still see that I'm sticking the brush up my nose. For the body! I was looking up different elf costumes and I think I'm gonna go with more of like a fur kind of around situation and then like a black top. And then I don't know if I'm gonna do like stripey underneath or not. And now normally I would outline with an eyebrow marker but everything's pretty much gonna be black anyway, so. I mean, I guess realistically in a sense that's all there is to outline anyways. Using gray and black eyeshadow, I'm then going to draw in the shadow for the fur. You know what, I'm actually gonna fill in this entire thing using black eyeshadow just to give it more of a base underneath the white because I don't want it to be bright white, I want it to be scary white. I'm then going to mix in all of the white fur with white body paints and I have a little bit of paint in my brush, a little bit of black, but like I said, I want it to be more of like a dirty kind of white, not brilliant, beautiful Santa Claus white.
It also helps if you add that black underneath, that way you're making different grays as you're going along. I didn't mix together any gray paint in this, this is just white that's mixing in with all the black. And just to darken up the shadow a little bit, I'm going to break it up with some black eyeshadow. Now in order to put his shirt on, I'm going to have to blend this in, so I'm going to kind of feather the black in first and then just paint the black on. And you know what, after much debate of a grand total of probably about five seconds, I decided that I do want to actually add the stripes on my arm because I want to make him dirty and I still want to look like an elf, so I feel like stripes equal elf. Using a little bit of prosade, I'm then going to stick on my jingle bells. Very scary. Once I have all my bells on, I'm then going to pop in my contacts, put on my wig, my hat that I made myself, and of course, my ears and teeth. If you're going to paint your teeth, make sure you use a paint that is meant for your teeth. Do not put random paint in your mouth. And also before doing so, you're going to want to make sure that your teeth are completely dry. I made this hat. Very proud. It's pretty It's pretty simple, but I made it out of fleece and then I sewed it together on stream with my sewing machine. My ears are just also super cheap plastic ears and I just painted them with the exact same colors that I painted my face and glued them to my hat. And just looking at this guy, I think I want to add a little more black dripping from my mouth, maybe a little bit around my eye. Destroy all the presents. <laughs> see, see, this is why I'm on the internet. Cause I, I'm growling as an elf by myself in my room, recording myself. <laughs> <laughs> also, I know you guys are gonna be concerned with how this comes off my teeth. Yeah, I moved my Christmas tree because I was taking some pictures, but I'll show you really quick just that it does come off your teeth. As long as you're using teeth safe paint that's meant for your teeth. And that's not toothpaste. I need to shoot this out. I need to brush my gun once I get all the makeup off, but it comes off really easy as long as you're using makeup that is safe for your teeth. And the reason that I'm stressing this is because when I first did this for the very first time, I was very stressed out that it wasn't gonna come off my teeth, but I trusted the product, I trusted the manufacturer's instructions, and I was okay. This was like years ago. This is instantly less scary now. <laughs> Goodbye.